A record number of competitors rolled into Loxton on the River Murray this weekend for the Australian International Pedal Prix. Thousands of fanatics gathered in the regional town which saw the first international team competing for a podium place. But as Brittany Evans found out, the high speed sport isn't just about finishing first. It's a fierce battle of the schools. And after 17 years of pedal pre, the local Loxton High School team says when it comes to racing, there is no mucking around. Spending hours training each week after school, on the weekends and even in their lunch breaks. It is quite tough. Uh, there's lots of other schools that go pretty hard and so do we. Like We've got the best sort of gear out there and um, we like to go hard with other schools and yeah, it's great. We love it. We love to race against city kids. It's like a bit of a rivalry, country kids versus city kids. 15-year-old Amy Stevens has been racing for five years and says her passion for the sport continues to grow, just like her competitive edge. I guess you've got to live up to the name and with the good bikes that we do have, you know, if you're not serious then you probably shouldn't be in the team. <laughs> The sport even has many hidden educational benefits for the students. It offers elements of teamwork and leadership and, and things of that sort of nature. And the one thing about Loxton is it's very community orientated. Over 800 riders have registered and buckled themselves in for this year's Loxton leg, which runs through the main business strip of the town. This year in Loxton we've got 96 teams, a record number of entries, so we're up uh, over 10% on last year, which is fantastic for us. It's not just competitors showing their love for the sport today, with supporters coming from far and wide, and local businesses opening for a special day of trading. The event's reputation has grown so much, a team has flown to the Riverland from the United States. Just coming here and seeing the team set up, it's a uh, very different experience. It's a lot more intense than our typical comp competition. It was a significant challenge, so we probably started working on getting here uh, six months ago, seven months ago. The next round will be held in Adelaide in June. Brittany Evans, ABC News, The Riverland.